Hey y'all, today we're going to work on a Offshore 7500 uh, by a Fenor. I've already cleaned the reel. Let's just go ahead and get the handle off and the, uh, the spool off. The handle is frozen and I'm not going to try to fix it because there's a crack here and I may make that worse if I do. So we're going to leave it the way it is. We'll work on the spool first. All right, so to get the top drag out, we have to remove that retaining ring that's there. Just hold your finger over it so it doesn't go flying anywhere. This pops out like that. And that's essentially the layout. There's also a, a sleeve that's in there. Like that. I'm gonna break down this, uh, the bottom drag now. By removing these uh, three screws here. And that's the way it sits. There's nothing else under there. And the plate. So let's break down the clicker as well. Then we'll get this uh, put back together in a sec. This is what the clicker consists of. Those pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna grease here where the uh, where that sleeve goes. I'm also gonna grease around here. That just has a little bit of wear on it. Try not to put too much on there. And then we just put this back in. The way it goes is like that. Spring goes on between those two, or splitting that point there, then we can just screw it in. It'll sit over the post like so. Try to make sure that it just kind of moves freely. Okay, so let's go ahead and dra uh, grease these drags up. Then we'll get them all put back in. Okay, so I'm gonna grease inside here because there's a little bit of wear there. And I'm using this grease because um, not the the drag grease because the plate will be sitting on top of this. That should be okay. And then I'll add some grease to these holes here. Now we can put this plate in. It's gonna sit between those, between those two holes right there. You can stick a drag plate inside. And then this top plate. Let me wipe that off. Just drop it in. Then we can cover it. Now we can go to the top portion, put the sleeve back in, and 
and start with the beard washer first, then drag washer, keyed, drag aired, final drag, and the last piece is the keyed washer. And just put the ring back in. If it's in a groove at the top, just make sure it fits in the groove. And that's it for the spool. I'm going to do this uh, <clears throat> just hand over really quickly. I'm going to add some grease here. some inside here and I'll add some oil to the handle to, to the knob I'll add some here as well just work it in Now we can open this up and remove the rotor and get inside. So I'll do these four screws here. For this one, you gotta kind of turn that rotor to slip the uh, the side cover off. We can remove this side cap and pop the bearing out. Inside this cap, there's a rubber seal. And let's go ahead and remove this block or the cover so we can get the shaft out. Now I'm going to pull off the uh, the rotor so we can work on the rotor first, and then go to the body of the uh, uh, the body of the reel. So to do so, we're going to remove that screw there. Then we'll pop this nut off. It just comes up like that. So I'm going to set that to the side. Then I'm going to work on this rotor here. Okay, so the customer for this thought the bale was weak. Uh, it was just a lot of frozen parts on it, so I just kind of freed all those things up, cleaned it up really well, and now it works fine. So let's just undo all these screws so we can get them removed. This was severely frozen here, so it's still a little tight, so I have to use a little bit of pressure on this to get it started. So I just screw this off. And now we can undo this end, which will release some of the tension on the spring that's inside. that off. This washer came from right there and I'm going to undo this cover so we can get that spring out. I'm going to keep my hand over this thing plus on top of this so it doesn't really go flying anywhere. It's not a huge load on it so 
shouldn't do anything, but no, the spring was kind of tricky to get out. And that's how it sits. And we're going to put that back in right now just to get it out of the way. Then we'll do the line roller in a sec. I'm going to add a little bit of grease to this here. Some to the tip. Light amount of grease to the spring. And we're going to add some in here as well. Just in this area. And up here. I'll also add some grease to those holes where the screws go. And I'll leave that for when we get to it. So the way this sits is there's a short piece and I'm not sure if he had it um, one way versus the other, uh, but it was pretty weak before. So I just added where that post is all the way, or I don't know if I can how to describe this one here. The end of this post, or this post, you can see it's not as close to the, or to one side as the other. I had the farthest part from that point going in like this. I don't think that made a lot of sense, so hope you guys can figure this one out. In any event, I'm just stick it back through the hole like that, and then just stick it in. Just make sure it's in there, then cover it up. down on that uh, if I remember correctly and that's the other side and then we're gonna get this line roller out comes out like that there's only two washers in here or let's call them bushings one on one side and on the other I'm gonna add some grease in here it does a washer, I forgot to show you. Hold on. There was also a washer on this side. Plastic washer right there. I'm gonna leave that off and then grease inside behind it. If you can see this, hold on. Sorry. And that's about all I'm gonna do for that. Stick that back on. And you can put this on either way. Like that. And where's our. I'm out of touch of grease inside here and on the back side of it. And then just screw it in. You need to find those two slots. Uh, there's two, it's a keyed, essentially a keyed end. It needs to fit in there. You can feel a resistance when you get it right. That looks good. Let's make sure it spins. it does okay so for this bale arm there's a bushing on the inside here and one on the outside I'm gonna grease here now inside here as well and I'm gonna wipe that a little bit so it's not too much grease on there 
do the same for this. And on the thread, or the tread, excuse me. Now I'm going to screw this side in first. And I'm going to snug it down slightly. Now we can start by attaching this side over here. First I'll get this washer on here. I'm going to pry this up slightly so we can get inside the hole. Mm, let's see if I can show you this hole. The hole is right there. We want to fit that end of the spring onto that. like so. Now we can press this down slightly and get this other washer in. Let me just screw it in. Just make sure you hold on hold down on the bail arm so it doesn't shoot up and or raise up and pop the, uh, the spring out. Let's just tighten everything down and then we'll test it out. Looks good. Okay, so let's jump to this portion of it now. Pull this out, there's a shim washer on the back of this. Right there. Pull out the block. And just pull this out. It's cross -wind. I'm gonna undo these pieces here and show you what's underneath all these things. side to get the the bearing up from that side there's also a transfer gear there let's undo the top portion so we can get the um, the anti reverse off and the pinion out with the bearing There's a wash underneath the first or the top, and also one on the bottom. The one on the bottom is plastic, and now we can pull this bearing out. Make sure there's nothing else on here. I'm gonna get rid of that too, or take it off. And that's how it looks. Let me go ahead and take this off so I can grease under here as well. And then we'll just close it back up. Not too tight, but I want to snug it down. All right, so I'm going to grease where the bearings go here, here, and on this plate as well. And I'm going to grease the points that have some friction riding on them. Okay. 
here around that post that should be good while I'm here we're going to grease these holes as well and over here this side as well all right that looks good <coughs> so let's go ahead and put the bearing back in here so I'm gonna grease this gear up drop this in that goes in first we'll take our bearing and stick that in then we can cover that up I'm not gonna do this side yet I'm gonna do the top first so Let's get our pinion and grease that up. And I'll stick this bearing inside. and the pinion along with the bearing. It shouldn't go anywhere, or we're gonna close it up anyhow. Make sure it sits properly. Let's go ahead and close this up. And that's exactly how it's gonna fit. Just like that. Let me add some grease to these holes as well. And now we can finish the top part. Let's pop this off. So we can grease under here slightly. And this can go either way. Okay, so let's put the dog back on. Just a light amount of grease on this thing here. Put the plastic washer on first. Dog goes next. The metal washer, which we're gonna add some residual grease to. Uh, let's get the plate on, excuse me. Do need to get this on first, I think. So we left the washer there. I'm gonna move that out of the way. And get this uh, bearing cover on.
Okay, let's get back to the the dog itself. Plastic washer on. Dog goes on. And then we have the metal washer. Now we can screw that in. You don't tighten this down the entire way. So when you get to the bottom, you just kind of back it up a little bit. So it can move freely. Now we can stick this piece on and this is keyed. Drop it through that slot right there. And that's what engages the dog. Okay, now we can go on the inside right here. So I'm going to grease this gear and the cross line up and then we'll get this put together. Okay, that looks good. So let's get the cross point on. Just kind of work it in like that. And we can put the rotor on. Let me add some grease to right there and I'm gonna add some grease to where that dog will ride. So I'm gonna add some grease along here. That should be good. This nut can be put on um, from either side. I just want to line that up with the hole. That should be pretty good. All right, so now we can Grease this shaft up, get that worked in there, then finish this reel up. I like to make sure I add grease to where the cross line or the block sits. And that's kind of wipe the rest in. Let's get our block. this way then let's just screw that in let me take our other bearing stick that in put the plastic piece back in this cap so I don't forget it and now we can add the main gear the main gear is keyed for that gear in the bottom so you want to find the slot to fit in there I'm gonna grease the back of this and then we're gonna close it up after we put the uh, the shim on
again, to put this back on, you have to kind of move that rotor to a position where this can fit in. Because it's pretty tight up in there. And let's just screw it in, and then we'll get this finished up and test the reel out. All right, so put this cap on. Let me add some oil inside here. stick our spool on. I like adding a little bit of grease on these things. And let's get the reel tested out. Another clicker works. Drag works really well. We don't want to hit the bail knob, so the bail works. Gear feels nice and smooth, and the anti reverse works. All right, guys, that's how you put together a Fenora Offshore 7500. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, let your friends know about the channel. Uh, hit the like button and the bell notification button for updates or additional videos coming up and make comments if you so choose. I respond to pretty much all of them. All right. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.